Good morning, folks. This is the Tungurahua volcano, the throat of fire. It erupted over the weekend and has not stopped spewing fire and ash now over a mile high into the air. The Ecuadorian government has decided it's time to evacuate the area. Something giving me some confusion. Now, I reported this back when it was released. They spotted a flare at the center of our galaxy. I didn't think much more of it until people started sending it like crazy yesterday, basically screaming that I need to see this cloud or energy burst headed for the Earth. Well, I absolutely did look for that when the story came out, but we can look again. They have pre-flare, flare, and post-flare images. Now, what I've done was open two windows, have them barely overlapping, and scrolled so the before and after pictures are right next to each other. Folks, I stared and stared. I tried every filter and color manipulation I could find. I just don't see anything. If you do, don't be upset. Just calmly explain what it is you think you're seeing. Make a video. That can help. NOAA has updated the November State of the Climate Significant Event Map. It is linked for you beneath the video. And despite all the different types of wild weather we're having and my stern cautions on simply drinking the mainstream Kool-Aid on global warming, heat is absolutely a part of the equation. It was the fifth hottest November on record. First significant quake yesterday was a five-pointer on the Pacific Ridge near where the fault connecting the Cocos and Caribbean plates meets the ridge. Also had a 4.6 near the Canary Islands. For those landslide and tsunami warriors, it happened northeast of that threat zone. Cyclone Evan, definitely weakening, but definitely headed for New Zealand. Had storms northeast in Australia, and that is not expected to stop this evening. Europe has the double low cell cutting through the continent, driving convergence of air with large moisture and temperature difference potential, and more precipitation is on the way. Yet another tornado drop from this convergence line. It's an unusual three-day uptick for this time of year. I caught a nap mid-afternoon and woke up to a boom. As my puppies went scampering, I went to Strike Star, the best lightning detector for the United States apart from our own eyes. I'm in central Ohio, and yeah, we were getting it hard yesterday. But the real USA weather apparently was west of this. It is still making its rear end onto land, causing storm surges along the coast in Canada. And look at some of these snow totals and wind speeds, measuring in feet and triple digit miles per hour. This thing takes up nearly the entire country. Its official name is Winter Storm Draco, and we can't expect more snow, more wind, and a drop from these nicer temperatures in the Midwest. A twisting filament here lifted due north away from the Earth and was the only Earth-side eruption. Solar wind speed is holding near 500 km per second, up from way, way slow last week. With continuing high density, the magnetic shields are taking minor disturbance. It is enough to allow for minor plasma penetration. You can see where the multi-line frequency inductions were cut off for a stronger baseline resonance that will respond acutely to solar wind metric deltas. Flaring was on the rise for two and a half days, but has somewhat stalled right now. We do expect to get some flares from either the bright triangular active region or that beast creeping up into the view in the north. Here's the primary active region with the umbra now firmly split. Still waiting for these magnetics to produce the potential for dangerous flares. We're not there yet, folks. Coming up to the northeastern limb, definitely some more to keep an eye on. The solar flare and earthquake watches are in effect. Got that coronal hole up north about two days from center disk. Use the links beneath the video, especially for your local weather. Torcon was changed twice yesterday between the news and the tornado. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.